Hello, my name is Luke Chen, and I am a hematologist in Vancouver, Canada. In this clinical picture, I present a 46-year-old Asian man who presented with three days of abdominal pain and fever. On examination, he was febrile and had small subcentimeter cervical lymph nodes with mild abdominal tenderness but no peritonitis. CT scan revealed bilateral adrenalitis, anasarca, and mild splenomegaly. Laboratory investigations showed elevated alkaline phosphatase 2,000 units per liter, and he developed severe thrombocytopenia 29 giga per liter with markedly elevated C-reactive protein 266 milligrams per liter, ferritin over 8,000 micrograms per liter, and a urine microalbumin to creatinine ratio of 387. His serum protein electrophoresis was normal. Extensive microbiological testing, including COVID-19 nasal swabs, HIV, EBV, and HHV8 were negative. His bone marrow biopsy revealed moderate hemophagocytosis. Initial core biopsies of the lymph nodes were negative, but an excisional biopsy revealed many regressed terminal centers, prominent vascularity, dendritic cells, and marked plasmacytosis. Except for reticulin fibrosis, the patient's overall presentation was in keeping with TAFRO, an aggressive variant of multicentric Castleman disease. He was treated with numerous agents and ultimately responded to a combination of siltuximab, cyclosporin, corticosteroids, and IVIG. TAFRO is notoriously difficult to diagnose as the lymph nodes are not markedly enlarged and histological confirmation of Castleman's disease can be difficult to obtain. Thus, early recognition of this clinical syndrome is essential. Thank you for your attention.